How's it going? It is me, Megan, and I am back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and a few other platforms, but mostly Poshmark in here on YouTube. I like to make reseller content. I'll do unboxings, I'll do what's sold, I'll do reviews, I'll do all that good stuff. So if that is something you guys are interested in, please make sure to like and subscribe, and that way you'll never miss one of my videos. Another uh, shoe box, as you can tell from the title from Thread Up. Um, my last one was pretty good. I was definitely really excited towards the end, if you remember. Um, I got some good shoes. I haven't sold any of them yet, but I was really excited uh, when I saw them listed again. So I got another one. I don't know why, but I've been really drawn to these shoe boxes. This will probably be the last one I get. I don't have a lot of room to store shoes. And again, I haven't really sold any of the other ones yet. So I need to calm down. <laughs> um, but this cost $90 and that's with free shipping. I did have credits for it, um, but still technically it cost me $90. And by credit, I mean I sell stuff on ThreadUp and I was paid out and I can use that to shop on their website or again, put it into my bank account. So I decided to get a ThreadUp box. This box came from Pennsylvania and I actually ordered it like on a Tuesday morning. I think the last Tuesday in January, it's February 6th now but Tuesday morning, it shipped out that same day later in the day. So I was so excited. Um, I mentioned again in that video that I ordered a box from Jomar about over a month ago and I'm getting those emails now saying, sorry, your package is late. Here's 10% off your next order. And I've mentioned it a hundred times. This is the last box I'm getting from Jomar. I'm never ever again gonna waste my money with them. And it's not just like, sometimes you do get really great stuff and that's amazing, you know? Um, but at the same time, I'm not willing to spend so much money and wait so long just to get a mystery box. Again, not knowing what I'm gonna get and possibly like my last box, getting a bunch of trash that I still have yet to drop off to UPS. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> 15 pairs of shoes from ThreadUp. Hopefully at least as good as my last box. This one did come from Arizona. Like I said, this came from Pennsylvania. It shipped out the same day I purchased it. It was supposed to get here last Tuesday. Today is Saturday. Um, so it did kind of get a little bit lost in the mail, but that's fine. It got here and I was worried that it was gonna be like lost, lost. It's a 20 pound box. That was not a great sneak peek, but it's a lot of beige. I'm gonna start with these. These are cute. These are Clark's. Uh, Clark's soft cushion. Um, they're a cute little beige es espadrille. I don't know what I was trying to say. Es espadrille, but I'm questioning if that's even how you say it. Um, I'm surprised they actually sent this in here because I um, do pretty well selling Clarks on ThreadUp. Maybe the other pair is in a little bit worse condition. Maybe these were just out of season. I do feel like between this, at least like my last box and the box I got before that, they were sending me a lot of spring and summer shoes because obviously it's still winter, but those things are what's selling right now for the next season. So yeah, really cute. Um, they're a size nine, which is a good size. They feel like suede, but I'm not really seeing anything in here that says if it's man-made or not. Um, the bottoms are a little dirty, but I don't usually worry about the bottoms. I'm really bad at cleaning shoes. I've mentioned it a bunch of times, but these are cute. Um, I'm trying not to look, but yeah, here's the other one. This one does have like a mark there, but otherwise pretty good. There is like suede wear, if you can see like the fuzzies, um, just like little fuzzies. But yeah, otherwise really cute, really great for spring and summer. Um, soft cushion, sound soft. So these I'm a little bit excited about because I've never sold them, but I have heard people talk about them. I'm not quite sure what the comps are, but I'm sure I'll have them on the screen somewhere. Um, they're J slides. And these are, as you can tell, a little bit dirty, a little bit messed up here around the toe area. Um, it kind of looks worn off. You can't really see the label in there, but that is the brand. I, they feel like leather on the inside and probably also some sort of like suede outer. Yep, leather upper, and they're at size 10, which is great. They're like um, a platform sneaker with a wedge, a hidden wedge. To clean up these bottoms, I wanna be like, oh, it's so easy, cause you, it is decently easy. You just um, can take a magic eraser, but I mentioned it before, magic erasers, they fall apart really easily for me. I don't love to have to use them. That's why I'm so bad at cleaning shoes. I did talk about possibly getting the magic eraser sheets, but I did hear from a couple of you guys saying they fall apart just as easily. 
So I'm tempted to just take some soap and like a little brush or something to them. Um, I feel like that'd be a little less annoying for me. <laughs> and they did step on a staple, so I'll probably have to get that out as well. Um, I mean, they're not without flaw. They do have some wear there, but they are leather. Um, and I do have a black leather shoe polish and I do have the Dr. Martin's like wonder balm. Eventually I'm gonna try and list everything in my dis- oh. Do you think that was intentional that they stepped on two staples? That's funny. Eventually I'm gonna have my, what I use like um, linked down below, like my shoe pop, my, everything I use to clean shoes, everything I use to clean purses, which is pretty much everything I use to clean shoes. Um, like my sweater shaver and things I like to use. I wanted to start like an Amazon market storefront, but you have to be like an influencer or somebody that I guess has like a lot of um, followers of some sort. So maybe one day I'll do that, but eventually I'll have them link below. All right, and then I saw these. It's funny because these just remind me of high school so hard. They're just Sperry's, but they're really cute. They have like a pink little glitter. Again, really great for summer and spring. They have pretty metallic gold laces. The inside is the only part that looks like kind of gross, but oh gosh, there's a lot of like dog hair in there, but um, I'm sure that'll be easy to get out. There are nine and a half and yeah, I just, I remember like every time I saw like Sperry's at a thrift store when I was a kid, I'd be like, oh my gosh, because Sperry's, they are, can be like pretty expensive brand new, um, but especially growing up sort of like near the coast in Connecticut. It just seemed like a little bit more preppy and fancy and like expensive. Uh, so these are very cute. They're in really good condition. Again, besides like the insides are a little gross. Um, but yeah, I don't think comps are super high on these, um, but they're cute. These are a brand I haven't heard of, but they do seem to be kind of fancy. These have a lot of suede wear. So I don't know if you can tell, you can't really, cause it looks actually really good on camera. Um, but it's like a textured, like how suede gets sort of like rubbed off. I know you, they say you could take a lighter to it to fix it, but it's, I think it's only bad enough on the toes to take a lighter to. I don't feel like this is that bad um, as far as like, I don't even know what you'd call it, like the looseness of the suede. But the brand is um, Myram Nas Nasser Zada, Zada. It's made in Italy. Uh, I think these soles are meant to look like leather soles, but I don't know if they are because they don't have the wear that leather soles usually do. I mean, they feel good. Um, this is plastic, but they're, yeah, really sweet little spring summer sandal, size 40. Yeah, so this one, yeah, if you could tell, this one I could probably take a lighter to, but I've never also never done that before, so that makes me a little nervous. You could see like the little frizzies and such on the top. And I don't really have a suede cleaner, like a suede brush or anything. Maybe I should get one, but the bottoms, again, really good. Size 40 is like a size nine and a half, ten. 10. But yeah, these are real precious for spring and summer, for going to weddings, Easter, Valentine's Day, date night. Those are all words that I use in nearly all of my descriptions for like fancier things like dresses and heels. So these are a pair of New Balance. I don't really know how New Balance does. I haven't really sold very many sneakers and I don't think I've ever sold New Balance. These are size nine and they don't say women's or men's, but I do think these are women's. They're a pretty like silver metallic uh, gray sneaker. It says fresh foam on the bottom. They seem very comfortable. And I don't really feel like these have been worn very much. There is like a little bit of dirt there at the bottom, but otherwise they seem to be really good condition. I know that that knit style of sneaker um, is still pretty popular. And yeah, I think I could probably get at least 20 bucks for them. I'll again, I'll look up comps. I don't know if there's any like secret good New Balance shoes, unless they're like super stylish, like dad sneakers. Um, but yeah, good quality walking, running shoes. So these are interesting. So I'm a little bit excited because I've never picked up this brand and I see it a, a lot. And I do know people that pick it up, um, but the price has never been right for me. It's BOC, which stands for born, born of concept, born concept. I guess it's just born concept. Um, but they're these very interesting, like leather, real wood wedges with this lug sole. 
Um, Luxoles are really popular right now. But yeah, in pretty good condition. Again, a size nine. They have this cute little buckle detail. Again, a perfect, really cute spring summer shoe. I'm really into this wood. It kind of seems a little outdated, but I could definitely see someone rocking this. <laughs> rocking this, there's a rock. That was unintentional, probably not that funny, but um, that'll be easy to get out. But yeah, leather uppers, really cute. They have a coat on there, so they'll probably be easy to look up. And there is some like light distressing to the leather, but nothing I couldn't polish out. So honestly, I don't want to jinx anything, but I'm one, two, three, four, five, six, six for six. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. So these are DV by Dolce Vita. So the lower end line. Um, I think some people say that this could be sold at Target. But these are really cute. A uh, suede booty. Um, I don't think it's real because it's the lower end line. I don't know. These do seem like, um, just from like looking at it, maybe like an older style, but still very like trendy. Size eight and a half. They say made in China, so probably not leather. I really don't like it when shoes don't just put, you know, what they're made of. Again, DV by Dolce Vita is the lower end line, but I'm not mad. There's clear like faux suede wear and like wear there. I want to get too much for them because the wear is a little rough. This is kind of funny. So I've never sold this brand before, but we all know it. <laughs> it's a pair of Crocs. And they're not really the Crocs I'd be kind of excited to try and sell, like the classic style Croc that is very in with the kids. <laughs> um, but these sort of like, not Mary Jane style, but that's what I want to call them. Um, I'd imagine these would be good for like gardening. But yeah, rubber shoes, uh, woman's size six. I do know if it says like, I mean, I wasn't going to suggest that these weren't a woman's style, but if it says W, um, that means women's, M is men's, and I'm guessing K is kids, but I know the W is women's, and it's a six. So yeah, um, they are a bit dirty right there on the toes, and they do have their signs of wear. I can't imagine that these would go for too much, but they are Crocs. They are like known to be a pretty good brand, so I'll give these a wash, and we'll see. So these are a patent leather, dusty, dusty, dusty pair. <laughs> of White House Black Market um, like stilettos. They're really pretty like navy, like dark navy patent leather. And again, pretty dusty. Um, I used to really love selling White House Black Market, but it, it has been a while since I went out of my way to pick it up. But it usually sells pretty well for me. Um, there are some like strings coming off there and off there. So they definitely would have to be trimmed, but otherwise, they seem to be in like decently good condition. There is like, I don't even know if you could tell, but some weird toe wear there. Um, the heels otherwise are in really good condition and the bottoms, you know, are just worn. There are six and a half. So yeah, I'll de-dust them. I'll probably list them. Um, again, not for too, too much. No one really has anywhere to wear such shoes. And I don't really know how Big, like the pointed toe is in. If they don't do well, I'll probably eventually end up resetting them back to thread up, um, but not expecting to get them back. So I wouldn't pay to get them back. All right, so this is J by J Crew. I've never heard of that. I've heard of J Crew Factory, which is like their outlet line, but I've never heard of J by J Crew. There is some toe grossness, but they are a leather upper. I can't really see what the size is on that. Oh, seven and a half. Seven and a half, um, real basic. They got like the stretchy back to them. Probably like a one inch block heel. A little bit of dirt. Um, yeah, I don't know too much about J by J Crew. Maybe it was their lower end line before they started doing factory stuff. But these are kind of beat up. Um, this one's about the same. I don't know if you can see that any better. It's like J by J Crew. Oh, okay. So I've heard this brand is like really expensive. Um, I'm not quite sure what the resale is. And these are a little rough. Um, they're a hard color, as you can imagine. They're like a taupe, maybe a, like an extraordinary light, pretty much white blush color. Um, but they're really cute little loafer with like a very short heel. There is pilling to the silver lining to the heel. 
They're 38 um, and they're M. Jemmy. Upside down? Yes, it is. Upside down. <laughs> M. Jemmy. Uh, the heels look like, or the bottoms look like that. But really, they're not in terrible condition for being such a light color. At least this one isn't. 38 is like an 8, 7.5, 8. But yeah, if I had a suede brush, I'm sure this would probably look a lot better. Again, I don't have a suede brush. But mm, this one's a lot dirtier. And I think this one's only dirtier because of all the, like, the time it's spent in this box going from like place to place, getting kind of lost. But yeah, you can see it's a little bit dirtier. Ooh. It's a little bit more messed up there in the back. It's rough that it's silver metallic because if it was just black i could i have paint you know i could fix it up but i don't know we'll see that's kind of rough for having like an actual good brand in here be like in rough condition but hopefully because it is a good brand it'll still like sell all right these look interesting <laughs> i don't know why everything in this box is so dusty so these are quite the dirty shoe i'm guessing you'd wrap this like around your ankle and also around this part so they're fun. The white is a bit dirty. Um, I could probably clean them up, we'll see. I have not heard of this brand and I don't know if it's real leather. Um, I, the more I touch it, the more I'm like, I don't think it is. Cause the bottoms are definitely plastic, but they're 37 and a half. So kind of like a seven and a half. I don't see anything else written on it except for the brand, which is Oak, just O-A-K, again, upside down, O-A-K. Um, but yeah, fun party shoe, again, no one's really partying, but I like the style. I don't know, maybe I'll look up comps and be surprised. Okay, I was excited about these and I'm still not mad about them, but they're these really precious sandals, be perfect for spring, um, they, only really have like this mark to them. Um, they're definitely a faux leather, size nine, and they're just Old Navy, but I've sold, I've literally sold Old Navy flip-flops before for like $13. So I think I could probably sell these for at least that. And they're just really, really precious. They are my size, but I don't think I'd wear them. I pretty much wear the same shoes every single day of my life. But yeah, a couple of marks that I could probably just wipe off. Otherwise really precious toe marks for sure, but not too bad. And then some dirty bottoms, but those are nice. Okay, so these are Corkies. Not not Corkies by Corkies, just Corkies. Or is it Cork Corks by Corkies? I don't know. But this is just Corkies. Um, I do know this brand. I do know that they can get kind of expensive retail. These are quite nice, leather, size seven, um, two-tone sandals. And they honestly seem to be in like pretty, pretty good condition. I'm surprised these either didn't make it or like didn't sell on their website. Hmm. These are definitely a win. I love those, very cute. And the last pair I'm also excited about because I've never sold these and they are Chacos. Chacos. I don't really know anything about Chacos. I've never like sold them and I've never owned them. I'm a very much a Tiva girl, but I'm sure I could be easily persuaded to be a Chaco girl. I love sandals that <laughs> aren't flip flops. Um, I'm not seeing a size. I'm not quite sure where you would find one. That's probably why these ended up in here. So I think these will have a pretty good resale value. They look small to me. I think they're probably like a seven. I'll try them on. But yeah, pretty good. I love this color. Very cute. Matches me. It's more purple, but very precious. All right, so I did get 15 pairs. I miscounted a couple times. I got nervous, but I do have 15 pairs. Um, yeah, I think this was a really good shoe box. Again, not anything like out of this world amazing, but I am really happy with the Corkies. I'm very happy with the Chacos. I'm glad I got brands that I, one, haven't heard of and two are very new to me. Um, again, I will have cleaning to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys found it interesting. Definitely let me know if you um, have heard of these brands that I haven't, if you know more about like selling them and comps and stuff like that. And if you've gotten this box before and what your experience has been. I've seen some recent ones where people are getting like two pairs of Hunter boots or 
Rothy's, which I've never found, um, and crazy stuff like that. I don't, I feel like your chances of getting a box like that are very slim, but you know, there's always that chance, so. Yeah, let me know what you guys thought. I hope you have a great time sourcing and selling, and I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye.